So, um, it's install day at uh, Nathan King Overland headquarters, and we've got two things to install. So, both of them are going to be pretty simple, I really believe. So, have the Toe Pro Liberty by Red Arc brake controller. And the reason I got this one, I will show you. But basically, as you can see in the picture, the only thing that's visible on the brake controller is that knob right there. I like that. And uh, I'm planning on mounting it under the dash, and the knob is going to come through right one of the blanks where I could put a switch for something. So that's a plan there. And the other thing I got, which I was hoping to install two weekends ago but didn't have a chance, is the throttle grenade, throttle controller. And I've talked about it briefly on Instagram. I'm going to do some, some testing of this to see what it does, not only to the performance of my vehicle, but right now, very importantly, to my overall gas mileage. I want to see, you know, what kind of impact is a little more oomph at the line, a little more get up and go in my pedal. What is it going to do to my gas mileage? We'll see. So I'm going to install both of these today. Both ought to be pretty simple. So here we go. Got to get the old dirty floor mats out of the way. Look at how clean and beautiful that is, though. It's doing the job. All right, let's see. I think I need to get this up. Should just be clips. Yep. Just clips holding that in. Put that up here out of sight. Okay. This little panel is going to pop out. like I need a 10 millimeter socket to take out one bolt. Get that right, not a 10.
Okay, so this is the connector that goes to the vehicle from the brake controller. So this is a special harness that you have to order based on your vehicle and you get that right from Red Arc. And it is, you know, specific to, in my case, the Toyota 4Runner. So I'm gonna show you what you need to connect it to underneath the dash. I'm gonna try to get under there and show you. All right, so here we go. The wool, we're underneath the dash now. And I'm gonna put a light up here. Ooh, it's bright. So there it is, right there. It's just kind of dangling with nothing attached to it. So you just have to connect to the plug. It's right there. Can you see it up in there? So that's all you do. You connect it to that, connect it to the back of the brake controller, find a place to mount the brake controller. And I mean, that's the bulk of the work. So. Let me get it connected and I'll show you what that looks like. So again, that's the entire brake controller, small little thing. And so to make it easy to mount, I've got some double-sided 3M tape on the back of this thing. And I am going to stick it to one of the support posts for the dash. And then I'm going to zip tie it to the dash as well. And it's so light, I mean, it weighs ounces. That should be plenty to hold it in place. And then uh, the rest of it is just getting the wires up out of the way and making sure that they don't interfere with the pedals and dangle and look messy and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so an update. I've got the brake controller connected underneath the dash. I've got it zip tied into a nice spot out of the way. I'm ready now to install the switch, which is gonna go right here in the dash in one of the blanks that I have. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So again, this is, this is all that will be visible on the outside of the dash when I'm done with it, which is pretty stinking cool in my opinion. So getting to that now. There's the blank, pull it out. And you can get this right from Red Arc. Red Arc. It is a little uh, a switch that'll go in that blank spot. And just for context, you can see they're the same size. Not as long, but that's okay. So now, what I need to do Get this in without breaking the so just for now i'm just going to put it on i'm going to have to figure out which way this dial really needs to be turned you know once it's at zero i will get it on there to indicate zero but um the light is at the top anyway we'll figure that out whenever i get it in all right so into the blank hole it goes ah you know what it's interesting it's got to go the blank's got to go in first it looks like nice flush look now let's put this bad boy through there that I'm going to put this on go ahead and connect the cable to the back of this thing like that that's what we 
sure I don't have it double loop myself or anything nope that looks pretty good step out of the way all right so there's my red arc trailer brake controller right there it's not going to be as visible as i would like it but all of my other blanks are used at this point that is the only blank that's left from the other lights i have on the vehicle my compressor etc etc so i'm gonna put it there i thought about switching these two but i don't think it's gonna help that much to switch them so i'm just gonna leave it right there that's my trailer brake right there now before i button all this up i need to go ahead and install part of the throttle controller so that i can be ready to go when i'm ready to use it so i'm gonna do that first what i'm planning on doing cleaning this up with some alcohol and I'm going to stick the throttle controller pad right here on this surface. So uh, I've got everything buttoned up. Well, not buttoned up. i got everything wired or all the wires are stretched out the way that I want to. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to affix my throttle grenade right here. And I am going to fish the cable through this way. And it's just a little lightning cable connector is all that it requires. Just like that right there. So I'm planning on fishing the cable up through this way. And just affixing it right there. So that's what the plan is. Let's move forward with the plan. So if I just leave myself enough slack to get it right there. Go ahead and snap that back. I think that's going to be okay. Brake controller still installed just fine right there. That's the control for it. Got to button up the rest and attach the throttle grenade to the actual throttle control. So stand by. I just want to show you what the uh, throttle grenade controllers look like. Let me make my light a little bit wider. So basically you unplug the plug coming from the computer to the throttle and then you just plug this in between and it goes into the top of the throttle right up there you can see that it's kind of hard to see there we go so it's just that simple then it's just a matter of getting the wires up out of the way and tightening them up okay so uh i've got everything buttoned up and tightened up and so here's my red arc trailer controller my trailer brake controller and then this is the throttle grenade try to get it where you can see it and some of the different modes that are already in it. Got to learn how to use it. Stock, sand, mud, off-road plus, explode. I'm assuming that gives it lots of pep. So, got to play with this. So, thank you, Throttle Grenade. Uh, thank you, Red Arc. Great products. I'm looking forward to using them. And also, thank you to uh, Bucket of Truth, Kevin Bankston, for telling me about the Throttle Grenade and how much he likes it in his Toyota Tacoma. Um, if you haven't uh, checked out Kevin, on Instagram. He's got a beautiful green to Toyota Tacoma. And I'm very jealous. He's got a nice solar panel hookup for his hood, which is not currently available to the same degree of wattage for a forerunner. So I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's see how this thing goes. So reset my MPGs. I'm also going to calculate this thing manually just to make sure that's correct. I'm not going to tell what it was, but frankly, because I don't like to admit it publicly, but the amount of uh, miles per gallon I actually get. So I've got the throttle grenade installed, and I've got it set to explode, which is going to give me a much quicker throttle response. For anybody that's got a 4Runner, if you are tired of the lagging throttle response in the pedal, let me show you what this does. Here we go. redlined it right out of the gate serious I'm talking about I am barely moving my foot tremendously better throttle response why do you want that ah just because people just because honestly you're trying to uh, get up on the highway or you're trying to get out of someone's way or pass someone to get past a rock hauler that is likely going to chip your windshield like recently happened to mine. I don't know if you can see that. It's driving me crazy. Then the throttle grenade 
that's your tool that's what you need so i'm going to drive this around for a while just check it out give you my observations after 